Hello everyone, welcome back to all computer classes. Students, uh, this is HTML course which is uh, newly introduced in uh, class 10 syllabus and um, this is the third unit of uh, CBSE syllabus and in this uh, HTML unit we will be having four chapters, right? So this would be a first chapter of HTML and the chapter name is basic HTML elements right so this is first lecture on HTML for class 10th right so the topics that we are going to cover today is introduction to HTML some important facts and then we will learn how to write an HTML document and create a web page right you must be wondering that why am I showing you this website because you see have you ever thought of it that how these websites are made which language is used to create these websites and how these uh, links are created how these images when we click on these images they take us to a new web page right all the web pages are having hyperlinks you see I'm moving my mouse pointer and the mouse pointer is converting into a hand sign means the moment I will click on this link then it will open a new page right so these are web pages and these web pages are made up of yes you are right these are made up of HTML right so let's learn briefly about HTML now you have got the answer have you ever wondered how these web pages are created which language is used to write these web pages the answer is HTML right what is HTML if it is asked to you so you will be answering HTML is most widely used language to design a web content for internet right so where do you see web pages you see web pages on internet only right how the information is kept on internet Inter internet contains information a lot of information huge amount of database on the web pages right now some important terms so first of all internet internet is a network of millions of computer which are connected to share information and resources right so why we are studying about this because from internet we access web pages right so what are web pages web pages information on the internet is available in the form of special electronic document called web pages so the moment you click your web browser for example google chrome or mozilla or safari any web browser the first page that open is a web page and every page you visit is a web page right so these web pages are made using HTML right so what is website collection of these many many web pages is called website right and what is web browser it is a special software called web browsers to view the web pages so if you want to see a web page how will you reach so web browser is a method you need to open your Google Chrome or Mozilla or Safari any web browser then only you can see the web pages right so these were some important terms that you should know now some important facts HTML stands for hypertext markup language yes it is called hypertext markup language right HTML was invented in 1990 right means it was formally introduced in 1990 its actual journey started from 1980s and it was early known as general markup language then later on it was uh, called uh, standard general markup language right and later on it was formally introduced as HTML and till date it is called HTML only but it has its various version right so HTML was invented by scientists called Tim Berners-Lee so you must know who has invented this language now there were two major organizations that were involved in developing HTML5 so it is the latest version the two major organizations that were involved in developing HTML5 were two organizations W3C which is called World Wide Web Consortium 
right so you must know the full form and second is what big right so what big is web hypertext application technology working group right so you must learn these two full forms also means uh, all the four facts are very important you must keep this in your mind and note down in your copy right so moving ahead if we want to create a web page what all we need we need majorly two things right first is an html editor to create a web page and then save it right now notepad is one of the html editor how you can find it you just right click anywhere in any folder right click and go in new you will see the notepad option you can open it so once you will write the code and save it then you would expect to see the web page right so where do you see the web page you see web page in the web browser right so how we how will you see your web page if you are not having a web browser so you will open or you will see your document saved uh, so you need notepad to type the code and then to see the output you need a web browser one thing keep in mind don't worry the html is very very simple interesting language right so you will enjoy learning it now let's learn the basic structure whenever you write an html code the tags that you are seeing in red color this is a basic structure so every html document will have minimum of these much tags so they are very simple to learn you can learn right now first of all html's every document will start from html and then close from html so you see a slash mean that is a closing tag so i am starting from here i'll reach to this side now you see html then head then in the head we will give the title then we will write the title what is the title of my web page and then we will close the title close the head and then body will start whatever you want to write in the body section you can write and then close the body and then at the end you will close the html right so you have to put this slash for closing tag right now remember html head title then give the title close the title first then close the head and then start the body write whatever you want to write in the body and then close the body tag then html right so let's move practically and learn how to create web page right and then we will see how to see the output right for example i make a folder here right now i'll open it right click go in the new and choose the text document this is notepad right now open it after typing i'll tell you very very important factor that you have to keep in mind then first of all html then head then title html head title this is class 10th learning html right now we will close the title so put the slash title close then what will close now head will close my head section is complete right now what will start body section so html has a two parts one is head section and then a body section so today's we today we are learning html then introduction then html facts then we will write html code then saving html then 
viewing html right so this is i have written in the body section right now what will do what will i do i'll close the body tag you can write anything in the body whatever you want to now i'll close the html right so that's it right now html head title title close head close body start whatever you want to write in the body right then body will close then html will close now you will save the html code now that is very important you go in the file right now click on save as right now you will give name basic html dot html remember you have to always give a name and then write at the end you should write dot html don't forget it otherwise you will your document will be saved as a text document not as a web page so dot html is a file extension that you have to give right so i'll save it now right i have saved this in my folder that i just created now you can see my file name was basic html right now you see the icon has turned into a web page sign with a chrome icon right now if i open what would you expect you will expect a heading and some uh, text that i wrote in the body so let me open it you see what was my title this is class 10th learning html right so heading has appeared here right so i wrote html introduction html facts writing html code saving html and viewing html right so now you see i wrote in the next next lines but the text is appearing in the same line right so which uh, tag i will use to bring the text in the next line that i'll just tell you so that you learn now if i write a break tag br right so i'll copy it at the end of the every line can right so i'm pasting it to save the time right so break 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 right now i press control s right now i go back in my folder right now i open the html web page again now you see how my text is appearing right so just remember br tag that stands for break right so line break now earlier my <clears throat> earlier my text was like this now my text is appearing like this so students i hope the first lecture was very interesting and simple and uh, you just try it out with your hands and pick up the pace right from the beginning so that you enjoy learning the entire html course of class 10th right so do it and learn it and write it in your copy so till then take care and goodbye